Live Gate Power Ministries present Power Night and all nights of healing, miracles, signs, and wonders. Anyone that says you will not rear up your head, let them not see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. There shall be deliverance from all satanic bondages. Youths shall be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. The sick shall be healed. The afflicted set free in Jesus' name. Ministry is God's anointed servant. Also, Sonny Cookie. Receive your harvest. Receive your healing. The venue Receive your is the Union Cathedral. Live Gate Power Ministries. 90 Stadium Road. Rumo Massey Port Harcourt. Friday 4th, May 2018. Time is 9 p.m. Also attend our Power Service date Sunday 6th May 2018. First service 7 30 a.m. Second service 9 a.m. For inquiries, call. Come, your miracle is now. Jesus is Lord. Hello and welcome to Hour of Dominion. I'll be speaking to us in this series that 10 powerful rewards for fasting what is biblical fasting it is total or partial abstinence from food and pleasure in order to seek the face of god for empowerment or for favors also it is an opportunity to make inquiries from god to seek the face of God, to know his plan and purpose for your life. During a fast, one is in a state of seclusion, spiritually, physically, in order to concentrate in seeking the face of God. In other words, waiting on God. And the Bible says, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strengths. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So waiting on the Lord is a spiritual exercise. So fasting is a spiritual exercise that has to do with waiting on the Lord, seeking his face, making inquiries, building your spirit man for successful and victorious living. From the Old Testament to the New, we see this form of spiritual exercise practiced by great men and women of God who had power with God, who had authority with God, who had breakthrough through the helps of God. I remember in Hebrew chapter 4, verse 16, God said, Come boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. There are three basic channels of empowerment, receiving strength from God, victorious living, successful living, and change of status. These are faith, prayer, and fasting. Remember in Matthew chapter 17, after Jesus had had an encounter in the Mount of Transfiguration and he came down and he noticed that the remaining nine disciples were having argument with a, a man that brought his son that had epileptic attack and uh, you know possessed of the devil and they couldn't kill him. They couldn't cast out the devils from him. Even though in chapter 10 he had sent all the disciples out and they were able to cast out devils. But this particular one they couldn't. It was after Jesus had rebuked them and cast out the devil, they asked him privately, why couldn't we cast them out? He said, because of your unbelief. That was faith problem. It was the reason why he couldn't cast that demon out. Now let's look at 
uh, verse 20 we begin, and Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be possible unto you. How be it, verse 21, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. So Jesus had mentioned the, how to take care of situation, stubborn situation there, use your faith, combine it with prayer, and combine it with fasting. Three. So prayer and fasting is basically for breakthrough. Breaking through barriers that have stopped you from manifesting your sonship in Christ. A Christian that is not ready to pay the price for power, for empowerment, for change of level through prayer and fasting is not a serious Christian. And Jesus said, this kind going not out, but by prayer and fasting. I remember in Luke chapter 4, verse 14, after Jesus had, had come out from praying and fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, his fame spread abroad. His popularity came to limelight. He's been in obscurity for 30 years. For 30 years, he was just a carpenter's son, learning how to do carpentry work and stuff like that. But after he got baptized and was led of the Holy Spirit to the wilderness to pay the price for power, which is fasting, he came forth and his fame spread abroad and power erupted. The possessed of the devil were set free. The lame walked, the blind see. Things happened. Demons will see him and begin to scream. You know, there are those that cast out devils and there are those that devil see. They, they start screaming. Glory to God. Now, what is in fasting that you should know that can help you fulfill your destiny in Christ, fulfill your destiny in life, that can bring you to the center of God's will and purpose for your life, that can cause you to have it as you will, that can cause you to be in command. Because when you are empowered, when you are strengthened by God in his presence, you become a commander of circumstances. Glory to God. Let's look at the book I call the book of fasting. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? God is speaking. To lose the bands of wickedness. To undo the heavy burdens. To let the oppressed go free. And that ye break every yoke. Clearly stated there, fasting is basically for supernatural empowerment. Your faith life, your prayer life is expedited, is empowered when you combine these three forces faith, prayer, and fasting. He says, Is this not the fast I, God, have chosen? To lose the bands of wickedness. That means to be empowered to take care of satanic wickedness in high places. The conglomerate of demonic forces that come against people to stop their destiny, to mess them up, to cut short their life, to stagnate them, and to cause embarrassment. Is it not the fast that I've chosen? To lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy bodies, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. Wow. 
Wow. In Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, he said, And it shall come to pass, on that day that his body shall be lifted up from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So what destroys yoke is the anointing. Anointing specifically means the power of God in manifestation. And so what uh, generates the anointing is fasting. As you have seen here, is it not to that ye break every you? That means that you generate unction, anointing. That you are highly empowered, changing level in the room, in the school of empowerment. In order to break stubborn yokes, to destroy yokes. What you are hoping for has not come. Rejoice! Speak to yourself. Speak to the situation. Release walls into the atmosphere. Release walls into the spirit realm. You can say something like this. My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. Ministries, number 90 Stadium Road, Rumamasi, Port Harcourt. We worship with us on Sundays, first service, 7.30 a.m. and second service, 9 a.m. Wednesdays, midweek service, 6 p.m. For counseling and prayers, call these numbers, 0706-381-3013-0802-322-1088. Live get our ministries present our night and all night of healing miracles signs and wonders anyone that says you will not rear up your head let them not see tomorrow in the name of jesus there shall be deliverance from all satanic bondages. Yokes shall be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. The sick shall be healed. The afflicted set free. In Jesus' name, ministry is God's anointed servant, Pastor Sonny Koki. Receive your harvest. Receive your healing. The venue Receive your is the Union Cathedral, Live Gate Power Ministries, 90 Stadium Road, Rumumasi Port Harcourt. Friday, 4th, May 2018. Time is 9 p.m. Also attend our Power Ministry. Service day Sunday 6th May 2018. First service 7 30 a.m. Second service 9 a.m. For inquiries, call. Come, your miracle is now. Jesus is Lord. Welcome back. Now look at verse 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily. And thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy real word. Verse 9. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here am I. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden. And like a spring of water, whose waters fell not. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. And thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge, the restorer of paths to dwell in. Now, basically, these ten powerful rewards for fasting, most of them will be taken from this passage. Now, let's get going. Number one. There are open rewards from God for those who fast and pray. 
In Matthew chapter 6, you read verse 16, verse 17, and 18. It says, when thou fast, when you fast, that means fasting is a must for a child of God that wants to change them. Not if you fast, when you fast. When you fast. Let's look at that place. Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. So fasting, spiritual exercise of fasting, brings you open reward. And number one reward is that fasting enables you to walk in the perfect will of God. When you present your body as a living sacrifice through fasting and prayer, you position yourself to hear from God. Because at the time of fasting, you have abstained from food, abstained from pleasure. Your spirit has a free, undisturbed access to God. Your spirit man is focused and in a proper state or condition to hear from God and to be and to commune with God. So it enables you to walk in the perfect will of God when you present your body as a living sacrifice through fasting and prayer. Remember Romans chapter 12 verse 1? I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So fasting is that private spiritual discipline that brings about open reward. And number one reward is that you are in the right position to hear God, which is a valuable asset. Hearing God makes you walk in the perfect will of God for your lifting. Life Gate Power Ministries present Power Night and all nights of healing, miracles, signs, and wonders. Anyone that says you will not rear up your head, let them not see tomorrow in the name of Jesus. There shall be deliverance from all satanic bondages. Youths shall be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. The sick shall be healed. The afflicted set free. In Jesus' name, ministry is God's anointed servant. Also, Sonny Koki. Receive your harvest. Receive your healing. The venue Receive your is the Union Cathedral. Live Gate Power Ministries. 90 Stadium Road. Rumo Massey Port Harcourt. Friday, 4th, May 2018. Time is 9 p.m. Also attend our Power Service Day 8. Sunday 6th May 2018. First service 7 30 a.m. Second service 9 a.m. For inquiries, call. Come, your miracle is now. Jesus is Lord. Now be praying. There are issues in your life that have been disturbing you. There are situations in your life that have proved stubborn. Why not take it up as a project and set some days aside, some time aside, and seek his face. Withdraw from noise around you, from distractions around you, and focus on your God. He's waiting for you to seek his face. He says, seek me and live. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. He said, call unto, unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But tomorrow, I'll be taking the next part and put it together. You shall smile. You shall be blessed. You shall be helped by God. You shall be favored. Precious Father, I pray for grace for my listener 
to engage in this very important spiritual exercise for the empowerment. I pray, Lord, that as they seek your face, grant them open reward. Receive the grace to engage in the spiritual exercise of fasting and praying for your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. For the sick, the afflicted, lay your hand where you are sick and receive your healing now. You need a miracle? Receive your miracle now. Be healed. Be set free. Be made whole right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command cancer in that body be destroyed. I command terminable disease be destroyed. I command the blind see, the lame walk, the deaf hear, the dumb speak. I command strength in your ankle bones and your joints and get up off that wheelchair through that crutches out and begin to walk thanking Jesus for healing you. You are healed. You are made whole. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release his blessings upon you. Amen. Now, do what you couldn't do. Say, thank you Jesus, I'm healed. And back your faith with action. Because faith without works is dead. Now listen, the greatest miracle is the miracle of salvation. Until you are saved, you are not saved. Life without Jesus is full of crisis. To receive Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I give you my heart today. I give you my life. I surrender to you today. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for dying for me. And thank you for your salvation for my soul. If you made that prayer as you are born again, and I seal your decision with the blood of Jesus. But you see, you need to fellowship with other believers to be strong, to be established in the faith, so that you can make heaven. Now find a Bible believing and practicing church wherever you are, whichever country you're watching us from, and attend and keep attending that church to grow in faith. But if you're in the city of Port Harcourt, Nigeria, and you're in other cities where our satellite churches are, worship with us this week. In the headquarters church where I'm privileged to pastor Dominion Cathedral Life Your Prime Ministries, we run two services for now on Sundays. The first one is miracle service, 7.30 a.m. The next one is 9 a.m. Never a dull moment in his presence. I'm looking forward to welcoming you this week as you worship with us. You are blessed. I love you. See you next episode. Life Gate Power Ministries present Power Night. An all night of healing, miracles, signs, and wonders. Anyone that says you will not rear up your head, let them not see tomorrow in the name of Jesus. There shall be deliverance from all satanic bondages. Yokes shall be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. The sick shall be healed. The afflicted set free. In Jesus' name, ministry is God's anointed servant. Also, Sonny Cookie. Receive your harvest. Receive your healing. The venue Receive is your the Union Cathedral. Live Gate Power Ministries. 90 Stadium Road. Bruno Massey Port Harcourt. Friday, 4th, May 2018. Time is 9 p.m. Also attend our Power of the Service Day 8. Sunday 6th May 2018. First service 7:30 a.m. Second service 9 a.m. For inquiries, call. Come, your miracle is now. Jesus is Lord.
you for watching this broadcast. You can watch our live service at lgpmimc.org. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Ministries. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash sonicookie. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Hour of Dominion. Get a copy of Pastor Sonic Cookie's books and CDs at www.lgpmimc.org. For inquiries, call these numbers 07063813013 or call 08023221086 or call 08052013598. God bless you.